Uh, my name is Kelly Foster. I am the pediatric co-chair for the Mastocytosis Society. My daughter suffers from a rare disease called mastocytosis. And then we just found out two years ago I have another variation of the same disease, mine called MCAD, mast cell activation disorder. And what it is, it's uh, the mast cells within our body, what we all have. And with Brooks and the mastocytosis, she has either too many or, or they're abnormal shaped. Mine, I just have normal shaped, normal amount, but they just trigger for unknown reasons. When our mast cells degranulate, they release chemicals such as leukotrienes, tryptase, histamines, prostaglandins, and then it causes um, rashes, fainting, blood pressure dropping, anaphylaxis. It's very uncomfortable and your, the quality of daily living is greatly affected. Well, I can say in our, in our situation, what happened was when my daughter was born, it wasn't until she was about nine months old that the physical symptoms I started to see more, which included spotting on her skin, on her forehead, and on the rest of her, her arms, and on her, on her back. When we went to the doctor, we were told, it's just bug bites. Ignore them, go away, put some steroid cream on it, she'll be fine. And they started to come out more. And we went to um, another hospital, and they said that uh, these spots don't come and go like they, like they are in your daughter. You, you have to be you know, mistaken, it's something else going on with her. Finally, we went up to the, uh, the hospital in Boston, the Brigham Women's, and they did the examination on her, and they looked for something called a Darrier sign, so when they scratch it, it will inflame and it turns red and starts to spread. And um, they found out once we started her on the medication of, the, of an antihistamine, we had to go through many different ones to find one that started to work. Because what actually happened with her is she started having her bladder was getting, um, having uh, symptoms or errors. she was getting pain, painful. She couldn't sit in a car. She would try to, try to drive her to school and she would be hanging herself under a seatbelt because she was in such pain thinking she had to go to the bathroom but didn't know if she really had to or what was happening to her. Um, but with the, with the one antihistamine that we do have, she has, it's, it's done a little better and now, now having access that work to the personal quotation with the other medication, they are helping with the, with the symptoms. I mean, there, there is blood work. We do do trip taste levels to see. Um, but again, trip taste levels aren't always a guarantee. Every, all these tests that they're still trying to come up with some patients may test positive, some may test negative, so it's not really in stone yet, you know, the exact, so there's more, you, have to, you look at the whole picture, you have to look at the signs, see how they react to medication, and, and then take it from there.